Hey guys, welcome here. Uh, if you watched my last video, this is the video that I said would be coming up. And this is my foundation, the MAC Makeup. If you watched my last one, um, the Waterproof MAC Makeup. And I wanted to do kind of a wrap up because that was kind of a long video, but I wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know how it turned out. It is 97 degrees out. I have been running errands in and out of the car. Um, I actually drew, went on a two hour drive, a two hour drive back to meet my mom for lunch and uh, sweating my purchase out. <laughs> and this is holding up incredibly, incredibly well. I'm trying to drive and show you, but I mean, it is so beautiful and so evenly wearing. You can tell it's worn a little bit. Like you can see right here, a little spot. And right here, I've got a little, I've got a pimple that's like trying to go away right here. And, but now this is a medium, I would call it a medium to high medium very buildable coverage foundation. Um, I'm really enjoying the color because I did not do my typical NC or NW15 uh, is what I normally get, which I felt was a little dark and I felt like the undertone was a little different. I have been going more with cool undertones lately in products and really, excuse me, really enjoying them. Uh, oh God, the local drug addicts in the neighborhood, I swear to God. Don't, you know, there's always those neighbors that you just absolutely cannot stand, and there they are. <laughs> oh, you probably could have seen them. Oh God, you know, I feel so bad, but you know, I feel bad at the talking shit, but you know, anyway, um, I'm really happy with this, and now... If you have tried, the uh, CoverGirl did a foundation, and I think it's True Blend, and they call it Life Proof, as the commercial says. Bullshit. I call total bullshit on that. I tried that foundation out, and I recorded the first half of it, and I was going to record a couple of updates after I had, I went and had a massage, and I was inside. I, I checked my foundation, literally, all I did was get in the car and drive to a massage appointment, and didn't even get out of the car, I, I stopped somewhere on the way to, anyway, I had the foundation on for one hour, and it was already to the point where it was breaking down so bad that I wanted to go back home and <laughs> fix my foundation, you know, it's just really bullshit when something is, you know, if somebody, if somebody is going to say a foundation is waterproof, life proof, whatever you want. To, I mean, I don't say life proof. I live in Florida. Okay. There's no way it's life proof. It's now, now my thing says 95 degrees, but there's no way. There's no way that something can be life proof. But now that I've stopped, I can really like show you guys even, ah, I have my glasses on all day, even like right in here, this is like the worst spot for me, right in here with foundation, is right in here, and if you watch my video, tell me that this shadow does not look amazing, I wiped my eyes, so a little bit of yellow is missing right there, but I mean for hooded eyes, if you have hooded eyes, and you have not tried glitter glue on your lid, if you watch my video, you do it just on the lid, on the mobile lid, and that's it. And that will help it stick down. But look at this. This has been on for now, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, five hours. And if you find a shadow that works better than that and keeps purple like this, I mean, this is incredible. It's so pretty. You know, I do a different type of eyeshadow look. 
I do more of a wearable type look, but one of the things I really stress is I do looks that you don't have to have a liner. You don't have to have lashes. You know, you hear so many times these people say, oh, you know, it looks like shit until I put my lashes in and liner on. Well, not everybody wears lashes and liner all the time. And that just tells you it basically just covers it up. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to come on here and show you guys this. I think it looks amazing. Um, I have, a matter of fact, I stopped to get some drugstore stuff. I had to get a prescription pill, as always. I don't know if you guys have seen these. This is this is like this is like forever. I, I used to use this all the time. They repackaged it. But they did these little, I have the blush, and this is the Paradise Enchanted Scented Shadow. And I thought these were just so freaking pretty. I haven't even opened them yet. And they're supposed to smell, I guess, like plum. Oh my god, they smell good. They do smell good. And they're really, they're actually pretty. Wait, I have the camera turned the wrong way. <laughs> they're pretty. Let's see what this looks like. I'll just swatch a couple of them. Now this is drugstore, so keep in mind, oh, that's, you know me, I'm, I'm gonna like go crazy over a shimmer. That's just, if you guys haven't figured out that I go crazy over shimmers, then you're, ooh, look at that. Oh, sorry, look at that pink, that peachy pink kind of color right there. That is pretty. Let's try one of these mattes. Let's try out one of these mats. This is the brown mat. Oh, that's pretty good. Those are pretty nice. I think Isaac Halbert did a um, did a, oh god, it smells good. Did a video on these. I have the blush and oh, that's pretty. Look at that bronzy color. Look at look at the the shimmer. That's pretty. Let's see how they blend. Oh, and it, you know what? It blends pretty nice too. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now, I use, I don't know about you guys, but I'll use a a shimmer like this one. I'll use that in my crease. You blend it down. I mean, it's still got a little shimmer to it, but it's very pretty in the crease. I like them. So that's, I mean, that's that. That's kind of weird looking. I guess because of the heat. But I got that, and what else did I grab? I grabbed some, oh, you know what? Let's try this. I've been wanting to try these, and every time I go, I don't know if you guys have seen these. These are Maybelline. Um, it's a matte Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink, and this is the color number 60 Poet. I have been trying to get this lipstick for like ever, and every time I go to get it, it's open, and I finally found one that wasn't. That is super pretty. That is super pretty. I really like that. That is a pretty nude. It is like one of my perfect shade nude for me. And I don't have any colors. I have a Jeffree Star that's similar to this that came in the, um, you know, the nudes. It's similar, but it's I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's it's similar but different. It's lighter and it's kind of got more yellow to it where this has more peachy pink. Yeah, I have it on my teeth. No. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure on my last video, let me know. Um, I'm going to do a haul. Uh, I'm going to do a full face uh, with a price uh, cap and you guys are going to decide the price. Make sure on my last video or this video, one or the other, you can um, put a price, whatever you think should be the price, $20, $30, $10, whatever you guys think and i um, going to pick. Now, if you say $10 and you see somebody else say it, just like theirs. So I can kind of, it helps me to add them up. So, you know, if you, so we don't have multiple people saying $20, you know, try to, if you already see the answer you want, just like that person's video, like, like that person's comment. And I will know that that's the amount that you chose to pick too. And I am out of here. I love you guys as always. And I will see you later. Bye. Hey guys. Sorry.
didn't realize I had that up so loud. You know, they're so funny with these um, uh, copyright strikes. I mean, you know, whatever happened to used to when people liked when you played their music in the background, you know, and people liked the exposure? I think what I'm going to do is, instead of using music that is like copyright acceptable and blah 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 blah, I'm, I'm going to talk to a few, I know a few local bands here in Florida, and I'm going to talk to them about using their music in my videos. And I'm actually going to reach out to some Facebook people I know that have bands and ask them also. And uh, that way... You guys get exposure some, to some new music, because I love music. And um, you also don't have to hear that tacky crap that runs in the background of some of these vlogs. I was watching a beauty vlog the other day, and this crap that these people listen to, oh my god, well, I don't, you, they don't listen to it. One girl made a comment about, oh, I love this song. I, I put this song over this vlog because I love this song. Remind me of that, you know, Twilight Zone crap. I don't know, God, my hair looks like crap today. My children aren't liking it. I, I figured I'd do an extra little car vlog, and I'm gonna add this on to the like update of the, the MAC makeup because I'm wearing it again. I am super, super, super happy with this MAC. Um, now, I was a little concerned because it was a small tube that I wouldn't get as many uses out of it, but I mean, you literally use like that much. I use a third of what I use of most uh, foundations. And also I found that I was putting too much on even at that because, you know, I'm getting, for the daily, I like a medium, a light to medium co coverage, sometimes medium to medium high coverage at the most. I'm not a full coverage person unless I'm going to an event or I'm like filming something that I want to look like super, super perfect. Um, even then, I don't use any filters. I don't use any BS. I, I don't like that. I think it's freaking gross that people do, you know, and hey, I mean, I can understand their channels being, you know, so popular because, hey, these looks do look nice, but I dare you to try to, and you know, this, I followed so-and-so's tutorial and you wonder why none of them come out looking the same. The reason why is, for one, it's not the first take, ever. You guys always see my first take, you know, good or bad, whatever it is. I don't, I don't edit the shit out of my videos. Even when uh, Glamorous Beauty does some editing, it's very minimal editing and it's just taking out like long pauses. It's taking out like some blend time and whatnot, which I've thought about and I really, I don't know if I like taking out blend time because I really want you guys to see to do a look how long you actually have to do a blend to really get you know a good look the look I'm wearing today is similar to the look I did yesterday very similar but it has a yellow in the middle and I think you, every time I do this I think of the Sun on the river <laughs> I don't know why I guess because it's kind of purpley blue and it's got the the silver yellow in the middle and I always do I always do yellow right in the middle up against my lashes. I don't know if you can really see it. If you look close at it, you'll see I do yellow like right up against the lash and then kind of blend it off. It's kind of a spotlight eye, kind of not. It's, you know, maybe I'll actually do this look. It's a real simple look. It's very pretty for daily. It's very wearable. Um, you, you know, you can be, you can wear it with anything. And, um, it's easy. It's like, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would say your makeup skills would need to be a 2 to do this eye. Seriously. It's that easy. If you can pat, if you can take a brush, 
wipe it across the shadow and pat it on your lid, you got it. That's all you do. I mean, it's a very, very simple. It, you, you do the entire lid and then you pat the yellow in the middle. It's that simple. And, um, you know, I, I've never really said this and, you know, I've talked about priming, I've primed my eyes in videos before, but I've never told you guys what I prime my eyes with. You know, and I thought about that in my video yesterday, so I went ahead and I, I actually showed you guys priming. I have used the, I've used the glitter glue or, you know, whatnot. I actually used to use, and I found it to be so damn expensive, it's from, um, oh my god, it's a glitter liquid. And I used to actually kind of pat my brush in it and then pat the, the, the shadow and put it on. You actually do, that's how you do it with the glitter and it glues it on. I forget who makes it. You guys probably know. It comes in a little square glass bottle with a little silver round ball top. And it's, it's kind of expensive. And I thought about it. And I'm like, you know, one day I just pulled out the... the I actually pulled out a sample of Too Faced glitter glue and tried that. And I actually liked it better than using that liquid because that liquid, you have to be so careful not to get too much liquid on the brush. It's almost like making fake nails. If you get too much liquid, your powder is going to be running. So, you know, and some of these people that come on here and do tutorials, now, I do have experience with makeup. Now, I don't have 10 years of professional makeup. I have been doing makeup on and off since the 80s, but my main career was always dog grooming and I was a vet tech first. Now makeup, I would, for a special event, do friends makeup. Um, I kind of picked up on it. I got more into special effects makeup, which I am probably, you know, I filmed the special effects tutorial on here. It wasn't really a tutorial. It was just kind of a watch me, watch me do it kind of thing. Um, and I was going to do a voiceover over it and I got so, so shy and so insecure. It like wasn't funny. I deleted it and now I kicked myself in the ass because it was cool and I used a lot of product. I, I wasted a lot of money doing that. Um, I can't believe that. I, you know, it was... It was just a stupid kind of, it was a, a character that I kind of made up uh, across, it was cro a kind of a cross between, how could you describe it? It was very strange. It was a cross between like the Joker and the plant from Little Shop of Horrors. It was actually kind of cool. The mouth is where the, the rounded mouth and teeth were the plant part on the bottom. It was more the Joker kind of thing. On it was crazy. I wish I would have deleted. I, I I didn't even I even deleted the pictures. I got like so shy, and I get so insecure about my looks like that. When I do them on me, it's it's crazy. I would even back when I was a drama, and I would do different effects makeup. And when I you know when I was doing stuff like that. I would never watch like a recording of anything. I would never like look at pictures of stuff I did. I didn't save any pictures. Uh, well, I take that back. I did save a lot of pictures and I went through, that's for another time. I went through a very hard time in my life. I walked out of my life, like got up, walked out the door, put everything I could including the guy I was with <laughs> and my dog, which was a 110 pound pit and a guitar in a Honda Prelude and drove to Georgia to start over slash long story. Anyway, that's for another time. <laughs> God, I've had a fucked up life. But I figured I would do a little car vlog and just kind of shoot the shit. I love doing these. You know, I really, 
I, I love doing makeup, but I really enjoy just getting on here and just goofing and talking and, you know, just being a me. <laughs> um, now, I have watched, and Trisha Paytas is one that really ticked me off. This girl has a way of just pissing me off, pissing in my cornflakes. She did this secrets that Disneyland don't want you to know. It was, all it was was clickbait. And it, she got so many views off that damn thing. Well, I have a friend that used to work for Disney. Now, I may do a video. I don't know if I could actually have her on here, but I could do a kind of questiony kind of thing. And I might even go to the park and like film a little bit and show you guys some really cool stuff that you would never know was there. One of the coolest things is, did you know there is no job title of character? Like, you know, the person that dresses up like Mickey, there is no job title make to, like for that. It is a grouped title and it's a group of anybody that is in contact anybody that touches that character whether you are the person that walks around the park with them or takes the pictures while while people get seen with whatever character it is you are friends of Mickey friends of whatever character is that not cool so you can meet somebody and they'll tell you oh yeah my friend of Mickey that's my job title, and they may actually be the person in the suit, you'd never know. And some of those suits have air conditioners. How about that? Anyway, guys, I'm almost at my doctor's office. God, I freaking hate this man. You know, one day I think, I, I hope and I pray that I wake up and I'm not sick or any of that crap no more and there's nothing wrong with me and I can just like not go to the doctor not go not take medicine not do shit no more and I could like go on vacation and do whatever the fuck I want but who knows anyway guys have a great day and I will see you in my next one and the MAC makeup, if you, if you like are looking for a makeup that is going to stay on and you're not going to sweat it off, it's 93 degrees right now, and I was out walking around, I mean, I carry a damp beauty blender with me just in case, like, you know, like in the creases, it starts to crease a little bit. This one hasn't done it. I've had them in the past where, you know, when you sweat and your, your makeup will kind of like cake up in a crease or like right in here around your nose or whatnot, and you can see like a line that looks real gross. I carry just a damp, I carry a bottle of water with me most of the time, but I carry this little, uh, just a damp beauty blender, and if I get that, I'll just kinda just pat it. It doesn't, the thing I like about this makeup, I don't have to be careful, so I can go right on here, after I eat or whatever, go in between my brows, See, and it doesn't, this makeup does not, it doesn't mess this makeup up at all. You just do it real light. I mean, this is like barely, barely damp. I like it because I'll hold it in front of the air conditioner sometimes when I'm cold and I'll like pat it on my neck and around the edge of my face. But I'm goofy. I don't even know if this is a real beauty blender. I don't even know where the hell I got this. It was purple, so I apparently bought it because, and I will be honest with you, I only bought this because it was purple. Anyway, guys, have a great day. I will talk to you soon. And like I said, if you want to splurge, the um, this MAC, this waterproof MAC makeup is a real good splurge. I mean, if you want to spend a little extra, I believe it was $38. I'm not sure. It is a smaller tube, but I have found to be using a very, very minuscule amount of this. It Like one little, if you watch my video, one little dot in it did like from here to here. Actually, I started here, went all the way across, and I got to right here with one just dab and a brand new brush at that. Anyway, guys, have a wonderful day. I will talk to you soon. I love you. Please make sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.